Hey everybody, Winstreak here. We got a question from Surfin. They are looking to simulate blood splatter with pixels. Um, so without further ado, we'll hop into a new project. And I'm going to grab a few pre-made images. Actually, just one. We're just going to add this as the bad guy. And... Um, if you're interested in these images, I'll always throw a link in the description below uh, so you can find them. They're free to use images. So we got him, we got uh, some ground, and we're going to do 600 width and 10 height. We're going to paint that. Yeah, we'll do a weird blue ground today. And we'll have him be walking on the ground or standing there, however. And we're going to add mouse. And essentially I'm just going to set it up to where I click. And he just splatters stuff everywhere. Um, so, hop into our code. And mouse. And on click. Actually, I'll do it on object click and click on him. And then I want to repeat this so it happens a bunch of times. Oh, excuse me, I had to burp. Uh, I'm going to repeat this so it happens a bunch of times. So system, repeat. And let's just say we want it to happen 40 times. And then we'll create blood. So we need a little sprite of blood. And let's just say 5 by 5 And it's a frog so let's give him weird dark green blood Boop. <coughs> and we're gonna give it bullet behavior and then I believe we want to make it solid let me double check what I was building earlier um doesn't look like I do anything with solid we'll start without solid and see what happens um, so uncreated or repeat 40 times and we'll start with creating and we'll create that sprite and we want it to happen at the enemy which is named jump 32x because it was his jump image um, and jump 32x y position so we just set it to be the center the origin of um, our enemy let's rename him enemy alright so we create an object 40 times at enemy x enemy y and that object is sprite which will be one blood splatter and then we're gonna go ahead and give that sprite all of his uh, bullet effects I'm gonna delete this instance we still have it right here but now it doesn't have anything set and we'll pretty much just set everything as we make it so sprite bullet and uh, we're gonna set bullet speed and we want them to all move differently we don't want them to move together um, so we'll use random here and I'm gonna use two variables so a starting and an ending and we'll just do 200 to 400 and then we can throw in a angle um, angle of motion and we want this to essentially splatter outwards um, you can do it in all directions or um, I like to just have it looking upwards so it'll go from the center of his body and they'll shoot out 180 to 360 so we'll make this little fan upwards and then we want one more with bullet so I'll copy once more and we'll do a gravity turn on and this will make them fall towards the ground and this doesn't need to be random um, we'll have them all fall at about the same speed and Let's see what we got so far. So you click and it splatters everywhere. Blop, 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 blop. And now we need to make them interact with the ground. So, sprite, 
and on collision with another object and we'll grab the ground <coughs> and then we're just gonna take that and turn off bullet which is the only thing that's moving it so bullet enabled set to disabled and that'll make it stop on the ground and then if you have walls or any other items you can just ha here I'll throw a wall up here Right, and weird blue wall, and this will be 5 by 500. Oop. And we'll set that to solid. Did I even set the other one to solid? I guess I do not have to, since we're doing it all based off a of collision. So now I can go ahead and add sprite on collision. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, sprite to on collision. Oh, so we'll have to give it its own separate thing since um, on collision with another object is uh, unique. You can only have one in the event, so we'll just have to create another one. And sprite on collision with another object and wall. So I originally thought you could just throw a bunch on here and turn it to an OR statement, but you'll just have to make multiple ones for other objects you want it to, to stick to. And you can splatter, and if they hit the wall, they'll stick there. And then, <coughs> so you don't have uh, the blood piling up over time, slowing you down, um, we can just do a, actually we'll have to set um, fade as one of the options here, so behaviors fade. My fingers were in the wrong place. There we go. And we will go ahead and sprite to uncreated. So each time they're created, it'll go ahead and turn fade on. Start fade. And then we'll set an amount of time. Uh, fade out time. And we'll say three seconds. And now it should fade out slowly over three seconds. Boop, 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 boop. And you can see each one is reset. Each one has its own three second countdown. So the ones that come out latest fade away slower than the ones that come out earlier. Um, and that should pretty much do it. That should allow you to uh, edit this in a way where it fits into your project. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.